first to know and send PTV. Hey, NDC, any propaganda? We need that. Mukasi ni mum, na mukasi yenti. Lawyer Paul Admochiri Tenasi, na edi ne koso se NDC omo die mo sore mo tutu si kama ma mo fose demonstration omo ko a fee na ni nyina e funa ni abi e die na e ko so e oliver baka farmer wo was given 32 million for the demonstration alleged allegation da hon na e no lawyer board much retransi no o chire mu say ah mo mo chese mo ma obi sika mo de policy be ba na ganias a so atu aba ma mo di mo sori a counter demonstration mo start with one say free as it just mo na me buy am fa a fe the next one in kalam see mo tu ni pegu sa fe the mo de anu mu be think outside the boss and stop the mo ye no na o lawyer po ad mo chira na eni bere na am be ye na o chire mu say the o mo ye no enye I didn't know it because Charles said, Ghana Medical Association, a committee, a judge, a mode demonstration now. TUC can, they are not going to join today or tomorrow. Umuneko, Mutu and Vocanti, Unimsi Tiomka. Now, Royal Power, much the com say, it's here for now. Yen Chan, you could see the detail. Oliver, 32 million. Ah, for the demonstration. Sent you to two policy for Kino. You could see, bra. This extent of the refusal of the bill was uh, harsh. Two weeks seemed very harsh. Uh, today, the two weeks has arrived. Most of them have been granted bill, except few of them, and uh, they've gone out uh, to their homes and they are so, sort of preparing the police, uh, the police bill document. So that's the story. Now, uh, the people who, the politicians who are interested in this for their own reasons, according to what Cheddar told us, and we'll be showing you the Cheddar video in a minute. Cheddar is Nanakwami Bediakon, who is the presidential candidate. He's 13. Is he 13 on the ballot? He's 12th on the ballot, I think. Alan Martin is 13 on the ballot. Okay. All right. So um, he said something about this whole Galamse situation. That's what uh, Cheddar said something. I'll come to that. Now, the Ghana Medical Association have decided and announced today that they are not going to be part of the strike. Sometime during the week, one of the deviants behavior deviant behaving doctors told manasseh azuri that within the context of the ghana medical association's leadership they had been bought or something like that i know who that guy is and i'm going to come after him you know who you are he's a terrible guy and i'm coming after him i won't mention his name now because i have documents on him he's the one who follows anas around to go and do fake documentaries at rich hospital fake documentaries follows follows anas arimia anas those people who do the criminal conduct, he follows them to rich hospital and does those things. Yes, him. I know him. He told Manasseh that the Ghana Medical Association says that they will not do the demonstration. So everybody was worried. That, ah, what happened? Today, the guy put up a video and explained. And the explanation makes so much sense. And after that, infantile people come and put up post that he has been bought. Why do we do that in this country? If you say you are doing demonstration, he says, I'm not doing demonstration. Then you say he has been bought. The one who said he's doing demonstration, Cheddar says that he too has been bought. Cheddar says that the Galam says not about Galam say it's about a political interest. That political interest is the one who is buying the people who are doing the Galam say. I'm not saying that. But I could say that that John Mahama gave Oliver Bamaho 32,000 Ghana cities. Should I say that? Would I be justified in saying that? Would I even be sounding sensible in saying that? Was I standing where, where John Mahama gave Oliver Obama her money? So I can't say that. And so can no one say such about any person within the context of whether I'm doing demonstration or I'm not doing demonstration when you are not standing there. When the man says I'm not doing demonstration, he says he has been paid. When you people go and pay Obama her 32,000 cities, you think we don't know. But can I say that? Do I have justification for saying that? So I can't say that because I want to sound sensible to my viewers. I want to sound sensible to my followers. So I can't say that. But as for some people, it's not about that. They have to demonize people anyhow just because of ballot box. And I keep saying that here. Ballot box. This man is a doctor. Decent looking guy. He's the chairman of the president of the Ghana Medical Association. 
listen to his video and listen to the reasons he gives in the video about how the Ghana Medical Association came to this conclusion. Have a look. I think that we should have marked on a national action. This directive, I must say, that GLA had no inputs. We were not caught. I was in the meeting, but had this critical decision. Hopefully, I was expecting that at least somebody should have picked the phone and give me a call to indicate that this is the decision that we have decided to take. I only saw the notice of the industrial action just as all of you did see. I decided to ignore it, but then it popped up on our council page. So I said, there is no harm. After all, we all don't like our state. So if there is an issue that is coming up, up uh, as far as our state is concerned, we need to address it. So I decided to call each and every individual council member and ask him whether we should join this industrial action or not, or hey, whether we should join this industrial action or not. We have 21 council members, some representing junior doctors, some representing the dental association, some representing the society of private medical and dental practitioners. When we finished, when I finished telling the results of the opinion of the various council members, five people indicated we should join the strike. One abstained. Fifteen said no, we shouldn't join. I thought it was on Thursday. So I said, look, if we should issue this out right now, we may deflate the momentum that organized labor has gathered. So let's go and see maybe Tuesday when it's a really issue of result. In holding, before I could say that over the weekend, there was a leak from the council platform indicating to the whole world that we have better taken a decision that we're not joining this fight. Since then, there have been a lot of commentaries. Let me take this opportunity to inform all of you that Ghana Medical Association doesn't support Ghana say. We think that there are pragmatic ways of dealing with it. There is no way I can plunge this association into a strike with no end in sight because the strike that organized labor is declaring is indefinite. Again, three weeks from today, we have our annual general conference. You are in a conference as medical superintendents today. If I declare a strike, and even though council has said no, I am sure all of you have to run back to your various facilities to go and quench the fire that will be brought in there. I would like to take this opportunity to inform all of you. I know the press is here. The Canada Medical Association is not joining the strike. We will not embark on the strike action. But we do, in solidarity, actually share some of the sentiments that organized labor have expressed. We will find our own way of dealing with the issue and not go along with the tide of putting this country in jeopardy too much for elections. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my solidarity message to you. Not that he just talk, he didn't do, he has done it. One district, one factory. Confucius. It's in a Kufi in the central region. It's Ghana made. Mm. It's nice that they've added orange to the pineapple. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was paid for by a Ghanaian bank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was a policy dream by a politician in opposition. He was sitting in opposition, sitting in his house, and thinking about how, if the Ghanaian people give him power, he's going to help the Ghanaian society to become better. To become an industrial society and he's sitting in his house he said why can't we have a, a factory in every district come come can you come 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 listen we can have a factory in every district why don't we start a policy like that you go and do the research and Napo then went to sit down do the research came back to me and said candidate it's possible he said okay so let's go and announce it one district one factory a coffee juice is here is here a coffee it wasn't there before it's here hey, see. it's coming nice 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 plenty is being bought by international people it's been exported that is what we call a leader that's what we call a leader. They say, Bema be 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 nina. This is a leader who can leave the government with his chest out that he can hold this one. On 7 January, Akufado can hold this and say, I've given you a factory that is employing thousands of people. That's a leader. If all the presidents could say, I've given you a factory, I've given you a factory, like by now we have 10, 16 factories. 
Some people come and do nothing. Zero. And even when they are campaigning for presidency again, they, they have nothing to say. That the eight years that I was in the castle as president and vice president, I gave you this. Zero. Some people become vice presidents for eight years and say, I have 33 policies. Go into your pocket and take out your Ghana card is one of them. That is substance. That's what we need as an African country. That's what we need. We will not be able to solve all our problems. No. No president can solve all our problems. No. The economic situation of the global situation and the blah, 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 all that is going to affect us every now and then. But we need a leader who can conceptualize solutions. A leader and his team who can conceptualize solutions. Solutions. Not a leader and his team who are always thinking about fixing some propaganda and calling Vomaho and give him 7,000 and say, go and do this and do that and do that and do that. I don't even know whether they did that. It's a rumor. Widely rumored. I don't know whether it is true. They said President Muhammad gave Omaha 32,000. I don't know whether. Do you believe it? I mean, I don't know. Listen to Cheddar. Listen. The situation right now about my last video that I issued about not supporting violence. And I still stand on that and I mean that. Now, why don't I support the youth for protesting? It's because I want peace in the country. If the youth of this country and the people of this nation have held it down for 32 years to 40 years of understanding politics and whatever encumbrances, crisis, issues that it brings, and they've managed to survive, then why would they want to use violence now to send a message and say that they've had enough? Well, let me tell you people something that you might not know. All of these protests and demonstrations that has happened in this country in the past year or two were organized by one of the dual poly. It's the same politicians. And I said it. I'm not going to mention names, but you know that Jolobi and Fix the Country was fixed by one of the existing parties. We cannot do this to ourselves and destroy our own country because of a politician's personal interest or a party's interest. Please, Ghana, do your research. The people in front of all these demonstrations, some of them have treason charges. Ask, find out who sponsored them for the mobilization and all the things that happened. Do your research. This is not about Galamze. This is about a political interest. Political interest do. What did the political interest? Hello, Cheddar. Good evening. How are you? How is the campaign, though? Ah, good to see you in Kente. What did the political interest do? The political. So we are. Galam says it's a big issue. We are all concerned about it. One person abstained. The rest said, "Don't join the demonstration." So he came out to put out a test, and one of them went to tell Manasseh, and so he was sheepishly writing on social media as if he had some. They, that's how they are, or as if they have some information from heaven, as if they have it. Maybe also Ben Pat told them. I don't. That the government has bought everything. Government has bought the people who are going on the TUC people who are going on the demonstration. Cheddar says that it is being politically motivated. Have they been bought? Nobody is going to be allow themselves to be gaslighted by this. I was going to say something. You can't build a nation like that. Today I heard somebody on Joy FM. He should be arrested. He should be arrested. And I was disappointed with the journalist who conducted the interview. The man said that until the president agrees that. The soldiers are going to shoot the Galamse people dead. Then, then the demonstration should come on. How cynical. Total. What is wrong with him? He should be arrested. The guy was on Joy FM this evening. He thinks we are what he doesn't understand the democracy. He doesn't know we have a constitution. The soldiers should go to Galamse and shoot people dead. Soldier, human being who has brain, who can be charged for men's and access rules, who can be prosecuted. He should go and shoot somebody that he's doing Galamse. Even when you find armed robbers, you cannot shoot them under democracy. There's criminal offenses act. There's criminal procedure act. He doesn't know that. I was disappointed. The journalist didn't tell him that. Did you really say shoot to kill? What are you talking about? That's not allowed under any democracy in the world. He doesn't know that. 
and the president should take, take the soldiers there and kill the people. Otherwise, the demonstration should go on unabated. Yeah, the demonstration can go on. It's welcome. Demonstration is part of democracy. It's welcome. But when people sit on important radio like Joy FM and advocate this kangaroo behaviors that we have thrown behind us since the AFRC dastardly errors that are never to be repeated. Somebody comes and says we should go back to AFRC. We should go and kill people. Shoot them dead. What is wrong with him? Yes, the water bodies need to be clean. We need that. That is more important than anything else. But you cannot say that because of that, the policy should be shoot to kill. That's warped thinking. And it doesn't sit anywhere in a democracy. It's not available. It's not allowed. It cannot be countenanced in a democracy. Now see this. National security appears to have spoken to the president of the Ghana Medical Association, Dr. Frank Srebo. Everyone has a price. Take your health issues seriously. I don't know what to say to the guy who wrote this. I mean, we think that because of politics, we can disrespect anybody. Dr. Srebo is not your brother. You don't know him. And then because of politics, you can come and write these things about him. This man who wrote this, I know when he was begging somebody for money to go and do something for his family members. I know. He thinks I don't know. The man that you went to his house to go and beg him for money that your uncle or something is sick. I, I was there that day you came to the house and beg. Roman Ridge, the one who wrote this. You beg people for money. It's okay to beg for money. But if you know you do that, you don't come and write this about somebody who is respectable. You, the writer of this, you went to Roman Ridge. You are begging that you want money to go and do something. And then you, you don't know people. You just come and write this about them. That everyone has a price. Are you really serious? Is that how I want to run this country? Dr. Srebo may have a wife. I don't know whether he's married. Dr. Srebo may have children. I don't know whether he has children. Dr. Srebo has relatives. And then you go and write that he has a price. You writing, don't you have a price? How many times you writing? How many times have you taken money that's illegal? Don't bring yourself and come and say these things and think that you have the power of social media. Dr. Srebo is not one who is always on social media writing. He's probably busy with his work. Some of us are on social media. It's not everybody who can be on social media. And those of us on social media must have the responsibility that we are dealing with people's integrity. You were not there when he was giving money. Oliver Vermaho is fooling around. You support it. That's okay. You haven't given him money. You think we don't know. And then you come and write something like this about somebody. I think every Ghanaian should be incensed about this kind of behavior. Because it's not taking us anywhere. Somebody is sitting here somewhere. He came to give an account. There are 21 of us. I called all of them. And they are all alive. They can talk. And I said to them that this is where we are. Shall we go on the demonstration? Shall we not? Five of them said, let's go. One said, me, I don't know. The rest said, no, we don't think so. And then you come and put on the social media that he has been bought. How, how dare you? What is wrong with this guy? What's, what is wrong with people like this? One district, one factory. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes past. It's a failure of the enforcement or the implementation. I, however, like the way Ken is approaching this because people are forcing this into electoral politics. And I like to differentiate between politics generally and electoral politics, where electoral politics is short-term politics. All right? When the matter becomes as serious as the Galamse crisis has become, it is a political issue. But we cheat ourselves when we make it a subject for electoral politics and pretend that, oh, this government is not good, so let's push them out and bring back, you know, the previous government. The previous government was not good either. And we remember how it was, and we pushed them back. And I have made the point that Galamse gets worse over time. So the government that was not able to solve it when it was not as bad as it is now should not be the one that we bring back to solve it when it's worse today. But the point that Ken makes, which is very important, is that we should lift this Galamse fight from the electoral politicking because... Now let's focus on how we're going to deal with this because politician go, politician come, the matter is getting worse.